First question is from Chris from Arizona. Hey, what's up, Chris? How can we help you? What's going on, guys? Hey, I just had a, a trainer kind of question. So um, I'm in the Army, and you know the Army is trying to transition to this new PT test. Um, and one of the events is called the standing power throw. So it's kind of like, you know, um, like the strong man, they do the keg toss thing, but except for instead of vertical distance, it's more horizontal distance with that 10 pound medicine ball. Um, and I'm just trying to um, think of different ways or different exercises to incorporate or to give my soldiers to um, kind of improve their performance. So like right now, doing a lot of uh, heavy kettlebell swings and also uh, doing a lot of like squat jumps, like power uh, to increase power output. So okay, uh, anything couple, else would be appreciated. Yeah. Do you, um, I'm going to ask you a few more questions just so I can get a little more specific. Is this an isolated test or are you doing this right after a run or other activities in the, in the test? So you're doing it right after um, deadlifts. So you're already kind of getting power from that, but. Okay. Um, yeah, it's just a single event. And, and what does the deadlift look like? Are you are you doing reps? Um, uh, are you doing a single? It's a three rep max on a hex bar. Okay, hmm. so you go three rep max hex bar straight to throwing a ten uh, pound medicine ball behind you uh, and looking for distance vertically. Uh, horizontally. 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 Excuse me. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Um, so you're, you're on the right track. Um, you can actually, I don't know if you, if you have the ability to do this, but you could actually do kettlebell throws, uh, behind your body, um, mm -hmm. outside as well. If you're in a grassy field, it's a great extra. I love this exercise. You take a kettlebell, uh, start it, um, like you would with a medicine ball kind of on the floor, maybe between your legs, and then you launch it behind you, um, to see how far you go. Now there's a couple ways, um, I would practice this. I would practice this with a lighter kettlebell for speed. And then I practice it with a heavier kettlebell for the strength um, aspect. Um, do you have access to any of our, our MAPS workout programs? I do not. Okay, so MAPS performance would, uh, I would say, would probably be the best one. Or uh, strong. From. I, I think strong, too, with the because we have the yeah. over-the-shoulder sandbags in there. We've mm -hmm. got the single-arm snatch in there. Yeah. Those are all good movements that are going to, I think, uh, translate well for the test. Mm. Now, are you? what's the distance that you guys need to reach? And on average, where are your soldiers uh, hitting? Well, it varies. Um, the, I think the... Like very most basic levels, like four meters, so it's not super far. And then the max is right around twelve, um, so not significant amounts of distance. Um, and then obviously with our female soldiers, we're seeing them have a hard time even you know getting to the the baseline. Um, so okay, something else to pay attention to is your technique because it's a technical. You know, we we think a lot about the the strength uh, and the power. But there's a lot of extension going on um, in in that kind of a throw. So practicing the skill would be also a valuable. Yeah. I was going to bring up, and so you mentioned like uh, uh, box jumps and like vertical jumps. Uh, anything with triple extension, where you know you're driving through your feet, and we're getting that knee extension, we're getting the hip extension, we're getting the arms overhead. Um, you know, those are definitely exercises to concentrate on. Um, and I'm trying to, to visualize this. So you said throwing it horizontally, but you're still picking it up and basically throwing it behind you horizontally. Is that correct? Yeah. So you like, you pick it up, um, and your back is to the, you know, wherever you're throwing it. Yeah. Um, and then you just either do like a hip hinge or a squat, you know, and like throw it over your head. Um, just like you're tossing anything, just straight yeah. double arm over the head. Okay, yeah, so that's that's perfect. Um, basically, too, like with with the squat jumps and or uh, uh, box jumps, uh, just make sure that every single every single uh, rep is is done with intent. So that's why like fatigue is something you want to kind of uh, minimize with these types of exercises and just really work on that explosive speed uh, and get fluidity out of these movements. So you know the faster you can uh, you know get into that extended position, uh, the better and and you're going to be able to drive more ground forces through your feet. So that's really the the focus and intent and just try to eliminate the, the fatigue aspect in terms of trying to improve that specific exercise. I'm going to go keep going back to strong. I think there's a lot of movements in Strong that are gonna that are gonna transfer over into this. So why don't we hook Chris up with yeah. Map Strong and utilize some of the exercises that are inside there? Especially since a lot of this is like that upper back strength too, right? Uh -huh. Of course, it's triple extension. We got hip to explode it out, but 
that overhead portion of launching that thing. Remember, we did this at the yep, beach. We did when we were messing around With a few years ago. We threw it in the sand. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, I really can't emphasize this enough. It's uh, there's a lot of technique involved, um, so you can practice the skill of the throw with a lighter uh, medicine ball and just pay attention to uh, the technique because like if you squat too much, you're going to get more vertical than you are horizontal, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Let's say you lack shoulder mobility. Um, well, then you're, you're going to release the, the medicine ball maybe a little too early, right? Mm -hmm. If you lack um, that kind of mobility. So the, the skill plays a big role. One thing you can also do, by the way, is you could also use resistance bands where you have a resistance band uh, anchored at an angle in front of you, and you're just focusing on the extension and exploding backwards, kind of to give you that technique and that speed. Yeah, Strong is a perfect program. I mean, even with the sandbags doing hang cleans and like shouldering, like Adam was talking about, circus press, there's a lot of explosive movements in there that really benefit what you're talking about. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much. I appreciate all the feedback, and I'll look to implement all of that. And, uh, Hopefully it gives me some good results for my troops. Yeah, no problem. And awesome. thanks for your service. Yeah. Thanks, Chris. Of course, guys. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's an interesting test that they're doing. Yeah. Uh, That's which, cool. Uh, yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I can imagine the uh, applications or something like that. No, right? you make a good point, too, about technique. I know you, you said that a couple of times because, um, I mean, you can obviously deadlift um, way more than I did. And I, I launched that kettlebell a lot further than you did. Mm. So it's, just, it's <laughs> yeah. not just about strength, you know? So Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're no, good at throwing things behind that. you. Yeah. 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 Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> no, but, I mean, truth be told, uh, it's, uh, I mean, any kind of throwing. Yeah, it's very technical. It's a it's lot very... of technique. And you can be really strong, have bad technique. You're not going to throw it as far as somebody who's got great technique who's not as strong. I so, really like yeah. Map Strong for this, though. If you, I mean, you have to go, you got the, um, the, the hang cleans in there, you've got the single dumbbell snatch mm -hmm. in there, you got the circus press, you got the shouldering with the sandbags. I mean, all those are going to, you have the swings, mm -hmm. like all those are going to transfer over into that, that, yeah. that yeah. exercise. They They're definitely tall. need to, to move fast, though. I'm glad they added that as another test in their protocol. Mm. 